the crowd of 87,000 plus on hand here at Jordan Hare Stadium in the city of Auburn, Alabama. War Eagle indeed as the Tennessee Volunteers come to town for the first time in a number of years, only the 10th time ever that the Volunteers have made an appearance in Jordan Hare. We welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. And this afternoon, it's the SEC East against the SEC West. The Volunteers against the Tigers. One of the grand traditions in college football, the appearance of Nova, the Eagle mascot, this moments ago. Expect. And first on the field, the Volunteers of Tennessee. Head coach, Philip Fulmer. Off the disappointing loss at home to the Florida Gators and the traditional walk of the Auburn Tigers. Slightly overcast skies. We've got uh, a temperature of 80 degrees. Winds out of the northwest at 7 and partly sunny the continued forecast Auburn won the toss they have elected to defer to the second half they lead this is the 50th meeting between these two Auburn trying to make it four in a row Morgan Hull number 37 will kick off and Dennis Rogan number 41 the deep man it bounces in front of Rogan taken at the 10 and he is going to be down at the 25 yard line and let's check the down in seven. Crompton five yards back at McNeil. Auburn looks like they will send only four. They do. Here's Crompton. Hit. Throws it behind Arian Foster. The pressure got there. Well, in 19, yeah, they need their Division One schools and net punt. When's Colton coming back, huh? A uh, week after next. Their net punt is 22 yards. There's only one three. You can guess. Third down. Todd pressure. Fires caught. Short of the first uh, down. Oh, bad play there. <laughs> Gives it that pressure look. All kind of the signals being flashed in on the Auburn sideline. Here's Todd rolls. Goes deep. Double coverage. And it's going to be incomplete. Intended for Billings deep down the right side. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Dunn. Gets the handoff. Mate wants to throw, and he's got a man deep. But he can't get there. Oh, my goodness. Rod Smith was five yards behind the nearest defender. And I'm, holy cow, a disaster could have been. And Dunn could not get rid of it. Here's the handoff to Foster again. Works right for a first down at the 29-yard line. And let's go back for the first time. Dropped in across the middle. Oh, he had Jones. Sure did. Whoa. Gerard happened very often this year. Here's Todd. Straight running play, left side. Ben Tate. Take a look at the number of snaps this year. Well, their running quarterback is actually on the bench, Cody Burns. They go with a two-back set here. And Ben Tate breaks a couple of tackles and is out of bounds with a first down at the 46 being made in Tennessee. There was some noise here back in 2003, and a guy named Bobby Petrino was involved. There's the catch by Robert Dunn. The difference between the first 10 and the next 75 is almost nothing. Todd, caught by Tommy Trott, listed as a tight end, really split out most of the time. Second down, 11. Todd across the middle, man open, done, touchdown, Auburn.
trouble on that. Boy, that was just so easy. Wes Byram with the extra point up and good. And Tommy Tuberville celebrated his 50th birthday last week. 54th, actually. He likes for me to shave him four years off. Done with the touchdown. Todd with the throw. Second best in the NCAA. On third and six, Crompton back. Flips it out left side. He's got a man open. And that should be good for the first down as Montario Hardesty makes the catch. And the tight end is the lead blocker for Hardesty, who gets loose and rumbles inside the 35 near the 34 yard line. Zach Etheridge. It's a pretty decent setting. Isn't yeah, it, it sure is. Out of the gun, Crompton back. He's one for six, make it two for seven. And that'll be down to the 30-yard line. And it'll be... Has had his impact on it. He wants to be able to run the ball. And offensively for the Volunteers, here's Crompton. Nobody open, so he throws it away. My goodness. <laughs> well, actually... 47 yards. Plenty of distance. And it's good. So Big the Volunteers, points. yes. Big points. Cup offensive lineman. Third down. Across the middle. Oh, oh great close. catch. No, they say he did not contain control. Hawthorne. Tough kid, but this needs to be a little more consistent. And maybe just calm down a little bit. So I think he'll do that today. I think he'll be okay. Let's watch another play, Pete. Here's Gerald Jones out of the G-gun formation. And he rips it right side, breaks a tackle across the 45, out of bounds at the 50-yard line. They ran the jack in at quarterback after the 22-yard game. Brandon Warren's in as he H back now. Here's Crompton, near side, got it. Pretty play. Under Josh McNeil, one setback. That's Arian Foster, two wide outs, two tight ends. First down and 10. Foster. Breaks a tackle, keeps his balance, and gets down to the 25. And let's get uh, down to Tracy and Peyton. One more down in 10. 7-3, Tigers lead the Volunteers. Blitz. Brompton right side. He's got a man open. Josh Briscoe, his fourth catch of the year. Pump and run. you got to get rid of it, Jonathan. Max Blitz. He does. Near side. Another adjustment. busted play. Yeah, it sure was. Another busted play. Shot. Up. Good. So Tennessee climbs within one, the 43-yard line. 7-6. Tigers lead it midway through the second. Todd. Caught by Dunn. Spins out of a tackle. And lowers his head. Robert Dunn, number three, with a and five. Todd, nine of 11. Right through the hands of the receiver, Rod Smith. And it will be fourth down. Now, the ball was a little hot for a long game. He's not used to concentrating for 50 and 60 plays. Here's Crompton under center at the five. Worst starting field position for Tennessee in the ball game. Uh -oh. Uh oh In the end zone. Guess Auburn who? touchdown. Guess who it is? Arian Foster. Oh, my. I don't know if that was poor placement or what, but it's inexcusable. That's about as simple as a play as you can get. Last week, when there was a fumble at the five-yard line, at the spot you want the ball to go to and put the ball on that spot. Let's see if a lack of concentration, if we were talking about it, like I'm telling you, I would not drive around with a Arian Foster. He's got bad voodoo here. He, he's got bad things happen to him. I, I feel sorry for the guy. That was inexcusable by your quarterback on the five yard line. Leads under six to go, first half. Tennessee definitely needs a first down here. Compton batted back. Short pass again. Some Derek Marks, and you know that this has been the... Cody Burns is in at quarterback, and he is primarily a runner, as you are seeing. Yep. There's no one...
Second down. Fake the wrong way. Yep. He is elusive. Man. Oh my! Blitz. Burns. Caught. First down, Auburn. Mario Fennin, number 27. Demi spread to the left, two to the right. Burns, again, good protection. And that one, Montez Billings, right through his hands. Well, Tony Franklin spent the last two years. Florida, and then they get back in their own competition later. On fourth down, now, the field goal attempt. Boy, that's another no miss. No good. Missed a 22-yarder. Third down and 10. Auburn leads the country in third down defense, and they've been excellent today. And that trend is going to continue. They came in having allowed only seven of 60 third down. You know, Vern, you, you were right. Looks like he's pushing the ball. Tate gets the handoff and goes left on third down, and it'll be fourth. Yeah, it's not going to work. Nobody believes Chris Todd is going to keep the ball. On this defensive 11. Here's Crompton back on third down. Arian Foster is going to be caught short. It'll be fourth down. You what know, do you think? We'll be for sale in the dollar store. I'm telling you <laughs> that right now. Third down. Up the middle comes the rush. And he got pushed uh -oh, off to the side. Uh -oh. Intercepted. This is Dennis Rogan, number 41. He is still upright. Just robbed it again. He got away with it coming out of his own, off his own. Goal. Crompton has to tuck it, and how oh, about wow, that? Look at that, right up the gut of it. Gerard Powers hit him, He's not thrown a pass out of this formation. He says he can throw, though. He ducks it, comes left. Well, he certainly can run, can he? Great block. And the elusive Jones goes down the far side and fights for yardage near the first down. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Be a pass, won't it? No. No. Handoff, Hardesty. Third down, just inside the two. Bynes and Zelda. Toss, Hardesty, Cooper in front. Hardesty for the goal line. Got it. Touchdown, Volunteers. Peyton says, let's go for two. Tennessee runs the toss sweep just as well as anybody in the country. By Briscoe, wing right. This is Jones in motion. Crompton back into the flat. No good. Catch made, tackle made. Walter McFadden, number six. Tried to run a rub. Clinton Durst on to punt. 14 to 12 in the fourth quarter. Return is on. Nice high kick by Durst. And the catch made. Set it up. Gerald Jones. He's got two blockers down. Cuts inside. Great field position for the Volunteers. Here they come. It's all man. Get rid of it quick. Quarterback Austin drive. keeps it. Goes left. Uh -uh. Fourth down. Very tough to run the quarterback draw when you're. Tennessee brings four. They stunt. And here's Todd going deep left side. That one's tipped and incomplete. And Auburn will punt. Intended for Dunn. Defended by Nevin McKenzie, number 20. Before it on fourth down. A lot of decisions now. Arian Foster is the running back. They've got a bunch formation to the right side. Here's Crompton back. Has time. Fires it low. Incomplete. Fourth down. And again, Josh Bynes is inside the Auburn 50-yard line. Third and 11. Burns comes left. It'll be fourth down. Rico McCoy. Let's take you back. Three men down for the Tigers. They're going to bring six. Crompton pulls up and lets it go. Man coverage. And it is incomplete. Nico Thornton, number 15, 
was covering Lucas Taylor, number 12, fourth down. And had it been under two, as Gary said, then the clock would have remained stopped on first down. But Tennessee is now out of timeouts. Ben Tate into the arms of Robert Ayers. For 140 last year, 130 average this year, and they're at 124-25 now. Auburn, despite zero offense, I mean nada, in the second half, hangs on and wins it by two. Because the Volunteers couldn't generate much offense, even in the face of great field position in that uh, second half of the ball game. Tennessee goes to one and three, two losses in the Eastern Division of the SEC. Auburn makes amends, though, uh, boy, it was a struggle. That's it from Jordan Hare Stadium on the campus of Auburn University for Tracy Wolfson, Gary Danielson, I'm Vern Lundquist, Tim Brando will be along shortly.